Right, good morning everyone, it's Matt from London Calling. Um, off on a little trek today, going down to Brighton, um, Brighton and Hove. I'm leaving from Forest Hill. I've already got the ticket, it was um, online, got it from train line online, £8 each way, 19 50 which is a really good deal. Um, I had to print them out. Um, so yeah, it's going to be good. We're going to um, just wait for my mate to come along now. Going to get the nine, the eight fifty six to um, East Croydon, and then from there we pick up the train to Brighton. So anyway, follow me. Off we go. Have a good day. Bye. Stop that. Right, we're on the train and we're on our way to Brighton. We're about halfway now, so I'll show you outside the window. We've got a disco going on in here at the moment. <laughs> Let's have a look. We're stopping, where's that going? Mask must be worn at all times. Please keep your distance. Coming into a station now. Yeah. What station is it? Brighton. Oh, we're coming into Brighton already. Brighton now. Oh, that's quick. Yeah. Okay, so we're here now. We're basically coming into Brighton now. That's taken us what less than an hour, isn't it, Bill? Hmm. Pretty good. Right, yeah, was... Just coming up to 11. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's supposed to be 10. Probably well, got here early. We actually got here a bit earlier. Yeah. It's our tickets, as you can see, bought online. Train line, look. We've bought lodgings here. No, no, it's a... Yep. Right, let's get off. Which is the um I'll take the camera. Here we go, on the way, we're here. We're here. Right and here I come. Hockey. Drop my glasses. Okay. Locked on. All right. I oh, know, I know, I nearly did. Could have been vlogging. It's there. Right, this is the platform coming off the train from Brighton, the Virgin train. Oh, okay. As you can see, Brighton station. A big old station, this. Such a beautiful day. It's going to be 30. What is it today, but 32. The people. Look at this. Yeah. Take the mask off now. Thank God. Wow. That was hot. Yeah, just show it. Oh, right. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. Platform three. There you are. From um, East Croydon to here. Oh, Blackfriars. Oh well, we didn't even have to show it. That's cool. 
Brighton station. It's starting to open up a bit by the look of it. Coffee shops are open. Sanitizer everywhere, is there? Let's get some. You can use hand sanitizer. Look, they've got the machines here for everybody to use. That one, is that one empty? Now, Bill. How does it work? Oh, fucking hell. working. Ridiculously. Where's Steve and um, Marion? Lost them. As you can see, it's absolutely packed. I mean, this is not open. Here we are. Come on. Where are they? I don't know. That's open, look. Get a breakfast or a burger. Yeah, you can off license, like that. You can drink down here in that square, wouldn't you? Where yeah. The pubs are. Where'd you get the hand gel then? I couldn't find it. Oh, yes, it can't get it from Please, a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, hold that for us, please. Do a bit of filming. Just watch it through there, that's it. Hey, hey, in Brighton, yay! Shut up. Don't get blogging. Get blogging. Thanks. Cass open there, look. I should imagine it's only for takeaways. Can do that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What an absolutely amazing day. Yeah, yeah. There we are. There we are. Quite some. What do you want to do then? Hey? Eh? Bag of ice. Someone's got their soft top down, I could have bought my car. Right, we're walking down towards the beach now. As you come out of the station, you can walk straight down. There's buses here, the bus stations straight outside. Do it, at least you can see what's open and what's Yeah. That's it, yeah. I'm not sure what buses are running. The railway, that's not open yet. Obviously. What a day. This is like... I bet this is hotter than Spain, Bill. I wonder what Thailand, well, Thailand's in the, in the um, it's rainy season now, isn't it? So there'll be, um, yeah, that's a good view of the, of the station there, look. Here we go. Oh, blimey, look. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll tell Bill. Steve's going to use the loose. Hey? Gone to the toilet. Bill, that's open. No, it's not. It's probably doing it up. The pub. Oh, right, yeah. Right, we're going to walk down there. That takes you down towards the beach. Um, Shape Road. So if you're at the station there, you just walk straight down. You can see the beach from here, look. It's about half a mile, I suppose, isn't it, to the beach from here? Yeah. If that. There's a few little cafes open, look, chip shops. Paper shop off license there, Bill, if you need a bite when you get a drink. Fantastic. Okay, I'll turn off for now, a little while. That's it. 
tile down. Alright, here we go, we're walking down a bit further. Big shot there for Sainsbury's. Some of the shops are open. There's a map. Seafront, so we're here, we're going down this way. That's the station there. If you walk straight down, there you are, you're on the seafront. Cool. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just the rents and Walking down towards the beach, just trying to check out a bit of the scenery. See the crowd coming down, look, it's incredible. Today's about 32, I think it's going to be. Definitely becoming more like um, a Mediterranean country, England. <laughs> Every time. You got water. Shops are open, look at that. Can you believe it? Yeah. Tra la 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 Vape shop, mm. Little Brighton. They open. Yeah. Blimey. Blimey, wouldn't have got one in the window, Closed. Where do you want to go towards the shops? Plain times. Right, we're getting nearer to the beach now. Not far from the beach now, the clock tower. Victoria. 
beach where you just get so many leaves. I'm not amused, but it's a sign, isn't it? Famous sign, I reckon. It's on table, table service, isn't it? It's a hive of activity now. Less than four weeks ago, you would have thought this would have been absolutely dead. Today is June uh, 25th, 2020. It's around about half 11 o'clock in the morning. 11 a.m. If that, no, it's like 10.45 roughly. Yeah, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Up there's loads of shops. You get all the main shops up there. There's all modern shops. Great big shop in the um, centre. Air condition and everything. You can walk through there. Well, from this week, we've been told we're allowed to um, come within a metre of each other. Um, obviously, on the trains and the buses, you have to wear a mask. Well, that's compulsory now. Everywhere's got sanitising stations, you can wash your hands, which is really good. I think we're going to go and try and get some food. Colin and Barrett's are open, look. This is the old sort of shopping centre, this end. Oh, the masks there to sell them, look. Loads of masks now, there's no shortage. Burger King, oh, it's open. That's interesting. Mobile shops are open, obviously the travel agents isn't. They look like they've gone bust. They're not open yet, the hairdressers, obviously. But they will be from the 4th. Everything's open from the 4th except for um, gyms and swimming pools and stuff. So Burger King was open. Smash Burger. I haven't seen that one before. Sports Direct are open. It's basically almost back to normal apart from the bars. Etc. not being open. Timpsons, they do your shoe repairs, but not only does it, uh, keys, get keys cut, everything. Specs over open, yes, good. A bon appetit. Buffet, oh yes, not open, obviously they're getting prepared to be open again. Well, restaurants will be open, yeah, of course, from the 4th. Cheap drink. Okay, so um, get yeah. you know, everything you need there, cases, etc. etc. Okay, we're walking down the lanes now. These bits are normally really fantastic because when the pubs and everything are open, it's like you get a really nice Mediterranean feel. Everybody sits outside and the restaurants are all open. Al fresco, as they say. Plenty of ATMs if you need one. Well, hey. La la. Is that Court Jester for him? Oh, yeah. There's this church here. Look, I think that's closed now. Some nice shops up in this little area around there. Down here is a um, 
a mod shop, what they call a mod shop, you know, there used to be that sort of style of dressing in the 60s, quadrophenia and everything. <laughs> pretty um down here's pretty bohemian everybody's you get every type of person down here there's no um it's very livable area which is nice petty bun shops are starting to pop again Fred Perry look nice expensive yeah they're open sorry about that shops you don't see the regular sort of high street shop which is great you see all sort of independence Duke's Lane it's cream ice cream well we're walking down the back streets to see what's open um, there's not a hell of a lot open at the moment these pubs are next it's open on the 4th of July so that'll be like Independence Day for everybody Yeah, that re the 4th of July. The deliver party time. That bike. Yeah. What a beauty. Is it a Harley? Yeah. Nice oh, bike. This place up here, there's a little area where people sit and have music and stuff. And this is normally absolutely busy as... Well, it's just really amazing around here normally. It's still quite quiet this bit. They're getting ready to open on the 4th of July. We can celebrate with our American friends. That's Independence Day in America, isn't it? Fourth of July. So that'll be kind of yeah, this bit here. Look, it's normally really good. Up there, they have a little music. Around there, the bands play. Now, if you're a vegan. Yeah, let's give that a bit more. Um, I've got locked down hair. It's got so long, I've to cut it. Turn into one of the Beatles. Yeah. I should love you, yeah, yeah. Oh, the love like that. My friend Bill likes his beer. <laughs> Hangton Lane, there you go. A bit of history. Oh, it's Prince Charles, look at him there, very young there, wasn't he? Vita. That's a nice restaurant, though, that Italian restaurant. It's normally um, really good when it's open. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a little wander around this end. Where's this bill? This pub you're talking about. It's just going for one. He's going to come back in a minute. These are all open the 4th of July. There's, there's a hatch there, Bill. Look, if you're in pawnbrokers, I bet they're doing good business. Around here, all these, what they call them, the lanes, everywhere, there's all these sort of jewellery shops. Literally, you can buy and sell. I mean, a lot of people pawn their stuff in, look, you can see the prices of the rings and stuff. It's just loads of them everywhere. Uh, good, it's so exchange watches, buy and sell. 
insurance probate valuations. God, look at that for a chain, my God. Mm. Is that solid, imagine that chain there, Bill. That's solid gold by the look of it. Yeah, big one, mate. It's got what? Okay. Let's have a look around this corner. Um, and okay. Was like, always really, really good. She Thai restaurant. It's me and my granddad. Um, but yeah, obviously, like once he passes. Oh yeah, this bit's like, going to be a waterfall like, around here. Inheriting all of like, the house and everything. Oh, okay. So this is sick. This is the new copper club, right? I think. Yeah, the lanes go down that and they go off this way, that way, and everything's just loads anyway, of little jewelry yeah. shops so, and stuff. Pawnbrokers. Like I, I don't know where. Obviously, they're not open yet. I think they're allowed to open on the 4th as well, the hairdressers. Yeah. Right, we're here, we're on the beach. As you can see, that, that up there, that thing that normally goes up and down, it's a ride. Oh, the stalls are open, the beach is busy. Let's have a quick look. Well, that's not too bad considering, I thought it would be busier than this actually. People are keeping a distance. Here over there, it's good. Pretty much back to normal, really. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the pier over there. Look, see, even looks clean for a change. Open down there. Normally along here, you go down there'll be loads of bars, cafes are always open. are out as well. See over there, they've got all the windmills, wind turbines, out on the horizon there. I don't know if you can see them, but they have got them. Three. These kids, they don't believe in social distancing there because they're young. I think they're going to be okay. Give you another look at another map. We're here. It's the pier. It's the whole front there. We're going down this way to the marina. You can see the surf, the five minute walk. Piers closed, obviously, yeah. I'd imagine they're getting ready to open again as well. You've got everything on there, food, bars, arcades, you name it, you got it. This is the morning of the year. Aquarius, job Aquarius. Hi there, Captain. Seagulls, I'll grab your chips out of your hand if you've got anything. Normally. Oh. 
Dee -dee. This is a bike lane, so you've got to be careful walking in there. Hi, right, Bill. What's happening? Oh, people are hiring the bikes. There you go. How much are they? Let's have a look for you. 3p a minute. That's fairly cheap, isn't it? Two pounds per annual per year. Social bicycles, mobile app. You'll be alright. Unlock feet one pound. Uh, ride feet three p per minute. Maximum ride charge four pounds a day. It's not bad, is it? Gives you a lot of freedom. And the safety. They're like a. I suppose once you do, they get a pin code on the back that you open it. Releases it. In the room, this time of the year, sometimes they have a big, uh, what they call a mod, a mod get together. Everybody comes down here on their old motorbikes, like Lambrette scooters, and it's mainly scooters. And they're all like fantastic condition. Going back to the 60s when there was a big craze for them. And it's really brilliant. It's, they all meet down this end here. There's thousands of them come down. They're all like, you know, re restored or whatever to the to the to mint condition. Even nicer than mint condition, some of them. If that's possible. Zip wide, there you can go over there. Look. It's obviously closed at the moment. There's all bed and breakfasts, hotels, you can book one and stay. All along now, the streets at the back there, there's all hotels and bed and breakfasts. I think the average price for a night would be about £30, maybe £25 to £30 for one night. Bed and, that's a basic bed and breakfast. Obviously, hotels will be different. There's loads, you know. You can get, probably get a really good deal at the moment, obviously. get coaches here whatever yeah, this bit here and we have all the motorbikes there's a couple there now that's scoot scooters but there's normally like you full up when they have a special day or there's a club they all come down goes along there look it's not open is it Bill? how it is? no seats runs along there a little train a little tiny train up and down for the toilets there. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. At least they put how much it is, right? Yeah, how much? Four fifty a pint. It's not bad. It's not far off what you would pay down there. That's they're serving.
Oh, they're serving over there as well, look. They've got a beer tent there. For yeah, people who want to drink, they're queuing up there, look. Yeah, yeah. So... Steve. Beer tent, beer tent. Yeah. No, there's the famous upside down house. One day a wind blew and blew it upside down, it never, it never righted itself. No, I'm joking. It's built like that. <laughs> Beach club. How long would that take? Five, ten minutes. Yeah, Bill, that, oh no, I thought that was open for a minute. In there, there's people sitting in there. In that place there, but there must be workers. The beach club. Look at sort of the height of that, you can get right to the top of that normally. It goes up and down. Underneath the arches. Should we go down by the sea? Steve, do you want to go on the beach? Have a look at the sea. Oh, no. Walk down. I'm going to walk. Huh? Why not? No, coming down. Still filming. The sea actually looks quite clean. I'm just, I'm just filming this little bit here. Right, this is the beach, as you can see, it's nice and stony. Let's walk down. That's quite crowded down there, look. It's very I might go for a swim soon. That's quite a nice view from this end. Right, we're in a place called Bond Street. Um, it's off the main drag as you come down. And there's loads of little shops and stuff. We're going to look into a shop that does a lot of cheap clothes, like um, get some really good deals if it's open. Is that the famous alley? That's Quadrafina Alley, isn't it? Oh no, that's not the one. Sorry about that. There's an alley where it very much looks like that, where they filmed Quadrophenia, one of the scenes in Quadrophenia. Where is that, Bill, that alleyway? Oh, I thought it was further up. All the art galleries are open. Pubs get ready to open, Bill. Look, or is it open? Another, Another one. Port William, William the Fourth. 
Oh no, they've got a hatch bill. Yeah. Over again, over again. Oh yes, I remember now. Oh, there's a Harrington there, look, that's like 30 pounds. Blimey. Oh, they were great. People remember the Harrington. What's it like inside? Yeah, it's got the tartan lining. Expensive shop actually. I think it must be at least 90 or more. It could be even 100, it feels like it is. Wee Tweegers. We must feed her a drink. There's a bit of leg there, look. Woohoo! £36 a pint of Miguel in there. Kidding, kidding. £6 a pint, that's yeah. expensive. 545 Wow. 45 75 Well, you've got to expect that if you come to a holiday resort, you're going to pay top prices, especially now. They need to get their money back. Let's have a look at some of these prices. These aren't bad, look. Iced tea. 350, strawberry lemonade, 325. Coffee, house blend, two chia latte, 375. I think that's an organic place. Where is that shop, Bill? What one? Looking for this shop, the one that did the cheap. Shirts and stuff. We'll get there soon, we're gonna find it. Find it that kills me the DMs, look. Yep. 125 quid. Wow. Well it's heavy. Used to wear them with the kids. Mm. No, it's women that wear them now, not men. You don't see any men wearing them, it's all women that wear them. Students. Still those yeah. ones up there, Frankenstein ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I loved Dr. Martin when I was younger. From 149. Yeah. Wow. DMs. Yeah. Do you remember the ones with, them, look, used to be look, 12 look. button ones when we were kids? Yeah, yeah. 12 button ones. Oh, I'm still buying wow. up there, look. Look at those ones, they're about 30. <laughs> Jesus. So All sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loafers. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite nice, actually, they have loafers. Yeah, they are, yeah. But, but... 60, There's no prices on them, yeah. 60, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I do, look, I like them. When I was down here last time, yeah, they are nice. I looked at them and they was fucking loads of money. Wonder what vegan, vegan boots. How's oh that? Oh my one? god. I don't like them though. Sorry about that, folks, but some people. Look, hmm? look Matt, I like them. What's that? Do you know the burgundy? Yeah, canvas? I know, they're nice. I was looking at them, the canvas ones. The canvas ones. They're very nice. They're like, nice whatever, style. I mean, you know, then we saw those last time. Then we saw those last time. You know what I'm like. If I like something, I'll fucking buy it. But I mean, the shop's open. What, what happens is they don't put the price on there. Beaster's so foot footwear. Vista nice. footwear. Something, something trouble, something. Yeah, very. Yeah, I remember. I think you looked at those last time, Bill. We were down here. I remember. Yeah. I think they were about sixty pound a pair. Yeah. Alright. We can check to see how long the queue is. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that bar's hey. served. There's an open bar there. <laughs> so we'll just see, look at, it's not, we're not alcoholics, we're just looking because 
obviously none of the bars are open so some of them no, are no. serving from the hatch just to let people take aways but you can't sit there and drink them no, I'm not that, but obviously you're going to pay double the price yeah. oh this bit here yeah look this is quaint where's this place Kensington Gardens there how about that not the Kensington Gardens though not the Kensington Gardens as I say Oh yes, I remember now. That shop was down here on the left, wasn't it? The one did all the cheap shirts and it's really good stuff there. But a good quality. I think I think they're kind of like um, people selling off their um, unsold stock. But some of it's really good. Good quality, yeah. Good quality stuff. A bit like a market version of TK Maxx, but better prices. Yeah, yeah. I think all I need now is a skull ring. I've got everything else. <laughs> For the kids, that little baby stuff. It's cool. Hats, more hats. Hats and more hats. I <laughs> love records. Oh, Bowie. So, that's that place that does all the records in there. Check this out. Where's Bill gone? Oh, yes, I remember this shop. Does loads of LPs, look. You won't find those many, every type of LP you could want. <laughs> mm, look. Get all your vinyl in there, everything. Old, old ones, new ones. Right, we're outside the famous place now. Um, where they made the film, some of the film Quadrophenia. This shop here is Quadrophenia Alley, Alley it's called. Um, that's based on the actor Phil Daniels. That's the address. Okay, I'll take you down the alleyway now. This is it. It's one of the film one of the scenes. Phil Daniels and um, I can't think of her name now, the actress. Come to me in a minute. This was it up here now, they filmed it up here. Right along this bit here. Oh man. Look, yeah, look. Right by that wall there was a famous scene. That's it, that's the famous Quadrophena Alley. Okay folks, signing off. Just watching the Battle of Seagulls. Someone threw a bag of old bag of chips and they're going crazy. They're young ones, aren't they? Look, yeah. babies. Yeah, they are. They look a lot smaller than they normally do. It's because they've been starved for three months. They're yeah, a they piece, are. Feast of a fair thousand. Here they come, look. Yeah, I'm swarming around. Hey, look, get away, get away! March it. March it. They're serving over there, Bill, look. Yeah, I know, it's fucking... Many, many crowds over it there. Is. It is, I'm a cider drinker. Where Steve is now? Oh, who knows? What is he? He's going back up there at half four? That's what he said, mate. I can't see why he wants to go so early. Just chill. It'll be like this till about... I reckon this will hold out till about eight o'clock this weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Half seven. Right, here we go. It's now about four o'clock as you can see it's got absolutely packed now twice as packed as it was earlier on look at that 
it's jammed it's jammed to to the hill i think social distancing is well and truly over now this is the toilets oh my god where's bill gone now i have to find my friends i've lost them keep losing everyone Look at that, man. Seems to like it. Never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. Holy moly. Wow, look at that. Huh? Steve gone. Oh, he's there. Well, it's virtually impossible now. You can't keep social distance now. It's actually got busier. I suppose people have come a bit later. Probably finished work and stuff. No, there. Oh, right. Actually, this is the busiest I've ever seen it. At normal times, I've never even seen it this busy. This is absolutely the busiest I've ever seen, Brian. Incredible. This is just a little bit of English countryside for you. Oh. Oh. Train window. Let's get up this way and see what I can film. We're on the train on the way home to London from Brighton. Welcome aboard the Southern Service to London, Victoria. The next station is Hewards Heath. Right, hello there. Yeah, we're back in um, London now and um, had a great day. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Well, you will enjoy watching it. Um, we got back, it took about an hour, I suppose, straight from um, Brighton back to East Croydon but the train went on to Victoria, so if you're gonna be in central London, you can go from Victoria. Uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, got a bit crowded around about four o'clock, really did get busy and like, sorry about that. I think social distancing went out the window quite a bit. I don't think the governor will be the over the moon about it, but anyway, um, I think most people kind of did keep social distance and it looks worse on film than it actually was in real life. And as the day went on, it did get more busy, but anyway, people have been inside for so long, it's just, you know, they had to get out basically and I hope people aren't too hard on them and there was gel points everywhere every shop you went to the station they're just everywhere you could just keep washing your hands every five minutes so we did kind of do that you know um so there was the facilities weren't a problem but anyway yeah thanks for watching and um if you enjoyed it please click on the gladiator on the right hand side um please subscribe if you want some more videos coming your way and give it a like and um, or a dislike and really be appreciate if you leave a comment it's great I and mean, just you know join in let me know what you like what you disliked about the place and um, if you want me to go to other places other seaside resorts in london or england this is an hour from london so it's basically london by the beach they call it um it's a very very nice place in a lot of ways you get some you know a great mix of people very bohemian you've got all the nice little restaurants and markets it's just endless gold places um when it's actually fully up and running again it's a really fantastic place i mean there's loads of little cafes and restaurants bars you can sit outside our fresco in the sun it's pretty fantastic music live music street theaters everything brilliant place but anyway 
as I say, yeah, click on the right hand side and I hope you enjoyed this, this, this film and um, good luck to you all and I hope you're all safe. Okay then, thank you. Bye Matt.